Thank you for clicking on this video. I was just about to start talking to myself. This is much better though. Electric motorcycles. I know every time we make a video about them, everyone just tunes out and goes and watches Gordon Ramsay or something. Even though most agree that in the future we will most probably be unable to escape the icy cold grasp of electric, interest in them nowadays is still very very low. The number one reason for that seems to be the fact that their range sucks and that nobody wants to be stuck in some dirty diner charging their bike for hours on end. All of this might be in the past however with the major breakthrough that has just taken place with graphene batteries. Seriously, it just took place. Just now. Zero Motorcycles, a well-known player in the electric motorcycle market, was forced to move forward its new release schedule after accidentally leaking the promo video online. Accidentally. Say it with me, Dave. Meet the Zero SRS, Zero's first sports touring bike as they call it. Made to be more comfortable for longer rides thanks to its lower foot pegs, taller handlebars, the addition of a windshield and generally a much more comfortable geometry, Zero wants to show the world that electric bikes can be used for longer rides, not just for short runs around the city. With the simple addition of fairings to the bike, Zero has worked out that range will be increased by 13%. That is, if you choose to sit like a turtle the entire ride with your head fully behind the windshield. Obviously, nobody is going to do this, so the whole 13% is just pure marketing nonsense. Just make the windshield taller, you're not gonna get 13% with a taller windscreen, but at least you're gonna get more than what you're currently getting if the rider chooses to sit on the bike like a normal human being. Speaking of range and charging time, if you spec up the bike with everything Zero has to offer, you're looking at 320 kilometers or 200 miles, which is by no stretch of the word actually decent and charging time again with the more expensive fast charger is at a very decent figure of one hour for 95 percent battery charge meaning that you can easily do a 200 kilometer or 120 mile trip with your friends stop over and while you're having lunch or whatever your bike can fully be charged up for the trip home not a bad deal and i see no real world downsides to this and this is where graphene batteries come into play. They've been the holy grail of battery advancements until now and the major breakthrough has seen them make their way into consumer electronics. Graphene is actually just graphite, the stuff your pencil is made out of. But while graphite is a 3D arrangement of atoms, graphene is just a 2D arrangement of graphite atoms. Hence, flat, since it's only one atom thick. And the moment you get a one atom thick slice of graphite, it becomes graphene and its properties change drastically. It is a thousand times stronger than steel and just two layers of it, that's only two atoms thick, can make it bulletproof. At the same time, it's also the best conductor of electricity and heat known to man. Okay, so what does this mean for batteries? Well. Charging time has dropped down to only 20 to 25% of the charging time required for lithium batteries at the moment. This means that with a graphene cell in the Zero SRS, you'll be able to charge it in just 12 to 15 minutes instead of the one hour required at the moment. 12 to 15 minutes is a completely acceptable time to wait around on any planet that you may live on, plus 99% of the time you will not need to charge the battery fully because you most probably will not run it down to 0% when you get to the charging station. Now, the second very interesting fact is that batteries don't need to be built from the ground up. Manufacturers don't need to throw out all of their existing lithium batteries and all of the infrastructure that's used to make them. A normal lithium ion battery can be enhanced using graphene and retain all of the great properties of this material. So, how far are we away from seeing this put into a real-world application? Well, we're already here. Real Graphene, a US-based company which has made this breakthrough, 
already has a consumer product out there in the form of a power bank. It retails for just 60 US dollars. It's a huge 10,000 milliamp hour battery, but if it was the same capacity as your phone battery, for example, it would charge completely in just 16 minutes. Real Graphene are in discussions at the moment with all major battery manufacturers, including Automotive, to integrate the technology in existing battery infrastructure. So basically, in the next one or two years, we should already see these in our phones, electric cars, motorcycles, what have you. I don't know about you, but this has gotten me excited for the future. With all of this new wealth of information, do electric motorcycles have you uh, just a little bit more excited? Let us know in the comments below. Well, that's the show for today, everyone. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming a Patreon to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.